I told you modeling conduit was easy, but let's look and see where we get all this conduit from and configure a new conduit type. In Revit, in the project browser under Power, Floor Plans, let's make sure we're in level one. I want to increase the scale of my electrical room here, so why don't we go ahead and create a callout? Let's go to the View tab. Let's click Callout. I want to pick a callout around this whole area here. So I'm going to pick a point right here. I'm going to drag my cursor down. I'm going to pick a point like right about here. I'm going to select my callout. Notice I have a bunch of grips that light up. I can grab this little grip right here and kind of move it out of the way. Hit escape a couple of times. Let's double click on that callout bubble. Let's change our scale. Notice that it's grayed out. That's okay. So in our properties over here, let's scroll down till we find view template where it says electrical plan. Let's click this. Let's select none. Click OK. Now let's change our scale from 1 8 inch. Let's crank it up to half inch. It's huge. Let's set our detail level to fine. And let's type VG for visibility graphics. Let's find floors. Let's click the override for patterns. Let's uncheck visible for foreground and background. Click OK. Click OK. Much better. We can even set our visual style to realistic. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay. Now, let's right click on this two inch conduit and create similar. I'm going to pick a point right here. I'll pick a point right here. Hit escape a couple of times. Now, what I want to do is I want to load in some families. So let's go to the insert tab. Let's click load family. I'm going to scroll out of this directory. Go all the way up to my US Imperial. Again, remember, we can go back to libraries. You can grab whatever your region is. I'm going to go to US Imperial. I want to go down to Conduit, Fittings. I'm going to go to EMT. I want to come down and find Conduit Elbow, Set Screw, Diecast Zinc. Click Open. Now let's select our piece of conduit here. Let's click Edit Type. Notice that there are a few different types we can use. So I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to click Duplicate. And I'm going to call this EMT Set Screw. Then I think there's a little 2 there. Let's get rid of that 2. Click OK. Now for the bend, notice for the fittings it has a bend. We'll click the drop down here. And let's grab that set screw. Click OK. Now this is the EMT set screw. So now if we right click on this grip and draw a conduit, I'll draw a conduit straight up. Notice it's going to pop in an entirely different fitting. So there you go. That's how you configure a conduit type.